Selsi, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Um, hello, my name is, as you heard, Madeleine Svitschlerka, uh, and I'm a dinosaur. Uh, I'm a radio dinosaur. I've been working for the Swedish radio uh, for over 30 years, so it's a long time. Um, I'm here, as you heard, to share how our station, our radio station, local radio station in, in Malmö and Skåne, has invested and succeeded in making the voices of people with various disabilities heard in our radio. And this, as you see uh, in the picture, it's me um, with a, a man called Einar Holgersson. And he works at Café Charisma in the city of Helsingborg, uh, a café that is managed by people living with intellectual disabilities at the police headquarters in the city of Helsingborg. Uh, to assure that the police get their donuts, their coffee, and their lunch every day. And he's one of the fantastic people I've been meeting and meet through my work at the radio right now. Uh, in 30 years, I have uh, had many different roles over the years, made mainly as a reporter at the local radio station, uh, cover covering a large part of Skåne. And the most important thing in my work, uh, for me, uh, is that uh, every voice uh, can be heard, or different voices can be heard, reflecting the so society that we live in. And this is also the guiding principle of uh, Sveriges Radio. Sveriges Radio, and how do I change this? No? I maybe I click here. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, it's also our, uh, um, yeah, uh, it's our, um, but yeah, vision. Yeah, it's our vision. More voices, stronger stories for greater understanding. Uh, in my view, the most important part of public service, uh, which also means that we are politically independent and not funded uh, by advertising. And I simply love radio. Uh, that's why I've been working for so long, of course. Uh, radio, where you, with the sound, can move a person to a special to a place and bring you close to people just with words. Describing what you see and creating a pic picture in the mind of the listener. Since the beginning of this year, I've been working full time as a reporter, finding stories and news about and for people living with different disabilities. And this is in unique. We are the first local radio station out of 26 around the country to invest in this. And I'm incredibly proud and grateful to do this. But how did it come about? That's what I'm going to tell you now. During several years, uh, we have worked to include people from different countries living in Skåne that do not have Swed Swedish as their first language. This has been very important for us here in Malmö because we have uh, people from 186 different countries represented living here in this city. <clears throat> uh, among other things, I... If I can change this... So. Among, among, very, um, uh, among a lot of things, I uh, followed this young man, young boy, he was 14 when I met him first, who had fled from Afghanistan alone with her, without uh, his parents, during, when I followed him during his first two years in Sweden. And that's when I started to work with simple language, because it's very similar uh, to the way I work today when I interview people living with intellectual disabilities, or other diagnoses that affect language and comprehension. Uh, do not speak too fast, use simple words, shorter sentences, and avoid all kind of proverbs, I think, or sayings, because they are always confusing. I still don't understand the first one there, uh, break a leg. I don't know how it can be, <laughs> how it can mean good luck, but 
it does. So that's uh, some of the things that, that I think of every day. But also uh, to help the person I'm interviewing uh, to be understood. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to hear. Uh, and then you can you can repeat or uh, yeah, clarify a little bit. So everybody understands. Local radio stations across, across Sweden have uh, limited resources, resources in terms of both staff and money. However, we got an opportunity to apply for a pop-up initiative uh, where we could be granted funds to work to reach people and, and events in places, cities and villages uh, seldom, uh, where we seldom were or never visited. So we started with this, but after a while we proposed uh, that we could uh, instead focus on a group of people instead, uh, persons living with disabilities, something we had done, but we hadn't we hadn't uh, uh, done so much. I applied for this and we got the and got the assignment. And for three months, I worked only with this. I contacted uh, uh, and set up meetings with organizations, associations, and people working with this in various ways. And I also got this amazing ride, uh, a van. Uh, that I could drive around with, uh, meeting people, a pop-up pop -up van, and I visited residences, day centers, meeting places, parasport associations, and special schools. Here I'm at uh, Helsingborg, meeting students uh, at the upper secondary school, Fyrborna. And uh, I uh, could tell them about how I worked at the radio and they, I met more and more people who could also help me in my work and give me tips, me, give me tips and ideas. But the absolutely, uh, what made the biggest impact, the uh, game changer, was when I, <clears throat> when I, yeah, uh, was when I created our first trailer, a thirty-second appeal asking for tips and ideas directly addressing the people we wanted to reach. Um, I included sounds from a reportage I did in uh, the small town of Eslö, where they had arranged the first pride for persons living with intellectual disabilities. And uh, uh, Sara Arneson were one of the participants. So here I will let you hear, and then I will translate this short appeal or trailer as we call it. If I can imagine. Ah. So there. Yeah. Well, in the middle of a pride uh, parade, I used direct approach. Are you living with a disability? I want to hear what your your life look like, likes both the good things and the challenges. And I also made it personal with my name. Send tips to me. Um, to tell them that I was the one working, everybody that I was the one working with this, and uh, yeah, I, I I got a di direct contact in this way. And as soon as this went on the air, we received an incredible re response. Also, in my thirty years, I have never experienced anything like this. Uh, we received so many emails, so I didn't even have time to read them all in the beginning. People sharing their stories, thoughts, and ideas for news and and the uh, reportage that I could make. We were overwhelmed, surprised, and of course delighted, but also ashamed, a little bit ashamed that we had missed all this. All these voices that clearly had been longing to be heard. Events and news that had passed us by. And some examples of what I did then is this. Uh, this is Anna Balte, visually impaired, 
And she talks about the anger that the election, pa election papers in Braille, also the text you can read with your fingertips, were not sent out in time before the election 20 2022. And when they finally arrived, the wrong party's papers had been put in the envelopes. Horrifying, but very important news that we probably had missed if we hadn't started this uh, project of working this way. Um, and we have Sigge, 14-year-old Sigge Alberg, who lives with his family near the sea, but could not go swimming with his family or even go to the beach because of his electric wheelchair, which weighs tons. But thanks to a new possibility to uh, borrow for free, a special design beach wheelchair now could go for his first, first swim. It's an ultralight uh, wheelchair with big wheels that works in the sand and even floats when you get into the water. And I also met Alma, 10 years old, living with cerebral, cere cerebral palsy from birth. She does not speak with words and cannot use her ha hands to sign. I made a series of uh, reportage about what her everyday, everyday life looked like. Uh, the choir, the school, vacation with a whole suitcase full of medicines and tube feeding. How to communicate with someone who doesn't have a speech. Describing facial expressions, body language, speaking through an assistant, her, her assistant, and mother, of course, Marcella. Um, the problem with a pop-up is, as it sounds, that it pops up and then uh, often uh, disappears. Um, but thanks to our dedicated news director, Kajsa Tigvartsson, who sits here in the audience today, and our station director, who also saw the importance of continuing this work, we set a goal. At least one story per week when the pop-up was over. It wasn't so easy uh, when I was back at my ordinary job, um, because I had no or very little time for planning. But thanks to all the contacts, the experience and the knowledge I gained, we managed, and almost all the stories we did were picked up and aired on national news programs. This resulted in me now working full time with this since the beginning of this year, collaborating with both our sports channel and Clore Text. And Clore Text, uh, which is Sweden's national program broadcasting news and stories every day in easy Swedish. So they collect news and they rewrite news in simple language. And uh, my, I try to make my reportages uh, or my stories in simple language all the time so they don't have to rewrite it or they often just uh, send them as they are. Because for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, very, for me, everybody must understand uh, what we say in the radio and in our reportages. So, um, and today, I have such a big network uh, that uh, the news often comes to me instead that I have to look for, for the news via tips, so social media or invitations. People know now what I do and that, and that I will only work with this. And with a great, and we get a great mix of serious issues, problems, and bright good news. Some example of what I done just uh, recently, more recently, is uh, this. This is uh, two uh, um, two uh, person two uh, they are not professors they are what here researchers, researchers. Uh, two researchers at uh, Malmo University uh, who has uh, gone together to write a handbook in activism uh, political activism for people with the intellectual disabilities uh, and um, they have made this to increase uh, the interest of polit politics and the means of influence, uh, means to influence and change things in this handbook written in uh, in easy Swedish. So that's one of the things I've done recently. And some love also, 
this is from the little town of Eslöv, uh, where uh, some young people living with intellectual uh, disability tried an app or uh, started using an app, a special app made uh, for them, an app that there where they could easily uh, that they could easily use on their phone, user friendly for them, and to get in contact with others in a secure way to find love or become friends. And also, as you might have known, we have had uh, uh, Eurovision in Malmö. I don't know if you if you have noticed this, but uh, then I met uh, Silvia, Silvia uh, Gosdek, and uh, she's the only, probably, uh, the only volunteer wor worker during Eurovision on wheels. She was the only one. Uh, she welcomed and directed uh, visitors okay, who came to Malmö, on the streets of Malmö, telling them about her city. She said in, in the, uh, the reportage that she was a little disappointed that not more people with visible disabilities wanted to work the way she did, but she hoped to be an inspiration. And the last example of what I've done recently is Funkisfestivalen. Funkis Festivalen is an alternative uh, Eurovision, you can say, uh, made uh, with uh, artists or singers uh, that live with uh, intellectual uh, disabilities. Uh, and uh, they had one semi final in Malmö, uh, where with just as much feeling, glitter, and excitement as uh, our Eurovision, who came a little bit later. In conclusion, I am incredibly proud of my radio station uh, for choosing to invest in this and give a voice to all these people who have not been heard in the same way uh, in local radio before. Uh, greater understanding and greater equality are achieved only when everyone is heard and seen and can share their life, life story from their perspective. Prejudice, prejudice fear of making contact and segregation grows when we know little or nothing about each other. So everyone must be included with their story. Selfie, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Pavia, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.